never varies. Makes yourself very comfortable as she moves into the shot. She's blocked this one to the right. Needs a good first bounce. And as you heard her say, she hit that so bad. But she's hitting shots, and we didn't know if she would, even as late as Thursday morning after the injury last week. Jack Rabbit. And this is the, the tenth hole. This is Myung to Lee. And that's a bit longer for Birdie than she would have liked, but it's not going to make a difference. She is now four under par for the day and really taking advantage of this Jack Rabbit course that did play about just over a shot easier yesterday to Cyprus. First group out, Min Young to Lee. All right, a three-way tie for the lead, including Moria Chitanagarn. Opportunity here. Make a birdie. Okay. This is the second for Brittany Lincecombe at the 15th. What do you make of this dormant rough that you've seen over a day and a half here, Judy? You know, it, uh, Bermuda rough is very difficult normally when it does is in, let me just call it full bloom, mm -hmm. uh, because the ball sinks to the bottom. But this dormant rough is wirier and uh, periodically you can get a pretty good lie. Um, you can also get a lie not so good. All right, here is Bianca Pogdanan in this big hitting grouping with Ann Van Dam and Maria Fossi. Good looking golf swing. Mm, well, that's two beauties we've seen with the irons. If the I see a bad hitter. golf swing, I'll let you know. <laughs> Not many, are there? Here's a player who's reworked her swing, Karen. Oh, she has, Amy Olson. And, and uh, she said to her coach, Ron Stockton, that even if she has to go back to Q school, she didn't care. It, it was a two year process for her, but she knew that she had to make these changes if she wanted to compete in major championships and on the LPGA Tour. And that's actually a pretty smart play. You cannot come short on that hole. And here's a player who's won on the, uh, a couple of huge stages. She won the NCAAs, and then she won the inaugural Augusta National Women's Amateur. And it was on a 13th hole, a par five, where she made an eagle en route to victory there. I admit to being glued to that telecast. She's in great shape. Tied for 10th at one under. She had that memorable duel with this woman, Maria Fossi, who has not had the same amount of early success in her career that Cupcho has, still trying to find a game that will work on all courses. But power to spare. Good shot. And the kind of flair, Judy, that could become could make her a superstar to 14. And this is Charlie Hull to try and save her bogey after going in the penalty area short left of this green. And that's going to be a costly double bogey and she'll move back to one under par for the championship. It can change quickly, Karen Candid. She had a putt to tie Oof. the lead a hole ago. Well, you just got to try and keep that. A little gentler for the players. They can almost afford to have a little bit more of a go at the putts, Laura. Yep, certainly a good chance here to go outright leader. Oh, misread it. Very unusual for her. But yeah, like you said, well, that, that one's getting away from her a bit. I think we saw Charlie Hull come up short. They're used to the pace of yesterday afternoon. We've seen Brittany hit a lot of putts that have just skirted the edge, but that's a good sign. I think she could be a huge player in this event this week. So Kang, who's going nicely, got this completely wrong, this tee shot. It's only 140 yards. Ended up that far away. It must have been a duff. <laughs> good recovery. Beautiful shot. Really good touch. Now, how firm will she be with this one? Does she bolt it in the back? Yeah, she did. It's good. Good holding speed. She's looking down at something. No need to be worried, though. Four under par. And she's on the tougher of the two, Cypress Creek. And in that three-way tie at the top. 
Who's going to be top European? Well, I'd like to think uh, Charlie, but there's a, there's a good few contenders up there. If, if Charlie gets it going, you see she just made that double bogey and it doesn't phase her. And that is a, oh, here you go, what a lovely putt. That is perfect in the middle. Might be a Turiof. Could be. She's a good player. Hits it quite a long way. What a putt that was. That's a real bonus. Under par. Good stuff. Which is the tour that feeds to the LPGA. And that's a nice long walk, isn't it, Judy? <laughs> that's just as good as walking it in when you get to walk to go get it. <laughs> Over to the Jackrabbit. <clears throat> this is Yanaka Shibuno getting ready for a birdie. And an opportunity to take the outright lead. About somebody who looks very comfortable with a putter in their hands, I think. Uh, this player definitely looks at one with this club. She's one under par for her round today, with a birdie at the first. And that's two under par for her round and the outright lead. Boy, and in the heart. Nothing but net. This would be amazing to have played essentially five LPGA Tour events and to have a couple of major championships on your resume at the age of 21. To Cyprus. And this is Christy Kerr. We talk a lot about her putting. Let me tell you just one thing that's interesting about her. When you ask players what their favorite club is, you know, you get six iron putter, wedge, whatever. Christy Kerr says, my putter. Not many players say that. This is on a line just left of the flag. Great look up the hill there for two on what's got to be Amy Olsen's favorite hole in this course. Down after the ace yesterday. And over at the other par three on the front, Bianca Pogdanonen to get to two under. She played so well in Georgia at the LPGA's drive on Reynolds Lake Oconee. Ali McDonald Ewing won for the first time in her career, but Pogdanonen really had a bit of a coming out on the LPGA tour with that performance. Now pillar at the 16th. And Jarena has got to do something to switch some very poor momentum around. She's three over for the day. Her short game has really let her down. And this is a great opportunity to do it. Very little wind out here, a very gettable par three, only 139 yards. Time to step up and hit a shot. But this is a pull. Just by the numbers on this Friday, um, some 66 players at the moment at plus two. So uh, there'll be some people concentrating on the scores on the leaderboard. Amy Olsen on the seventh has this to tie. Shibuno, we just saw breaking out of those number of players that are at four under par. So Amy will have that to remain one back. She had the lead after round one of the AIG women. But far enough for those trees down the left hand side will not cause an issue. Hundred and forty three yards and coming out of that dormant rough. You gotta expect this just out to the right, Judy. Play safe. That's a beautiful safe shot. You when you want to play safe, sometimes you look fifteen feet to the right of the hole, but oftentimes you hit it thirty feet to the right of the hole. That was beautiful. And the amateurs continue to impress. The Swede Lynn Grant has made another birdie. And so she moves to four under with Pauline Roussan Bouchard right there in a tie for fifth. Hedging Choi nearly won it as an amateur in 2017, had the lead with nine holes to play. 
as we take you to the fifth. This is area Jutanagan and yep. this would normally be a, a par five that, that she would be trying to get to in two but got her tee shot into trouble and could only play out to this part and now she's in this rough she's going to have to try and judge the release on this green one thing's for sure she didn't hold back on that judy right and she spins the ball about as well as any player in women's golf uh, so you can see what happens with just that little bit of rough Jorinda Pillar needs a good shot here from the bunker, kind of like Amy Olson. She's closing in on 200 career starts. That looked good. Really good. Thought it might hit it for a minute. First time she went to play nine holes, she shot 72 and thought it was a good score until she saw someone else shot 72 for 18 holes and realized, I need to work. At the fifth. Oh, this is Inby Park with her third shot, and what a beautiful way to play those little wedges. Just dead hands. Well, there was going to be a hiatus around now in the coverage, but they will continue showing us pictures, and if they show them to us, we'll show them to you. This is the top of the leaderboard, Hinako Shibuno from Japan, having a, a really good second day. Two good days to be five under par. So she's nicely placed and has broken out of that group on minus four to lead on a cracked open. Let's hope that's all it is and there are no cells and it's not too heavy and they can carry on. So let's get back to the NBC Golf Channel team. So going the wrong way, although she's got a chance for a birdie there. And uh, well, this was the forecast bones for a pretty nasty day with the rain coming down heavier. Yeah, and while their worst thoughts realized, I'm sure the caddies uh, have golf bags full of towels and rain gear and certainly umbrellas. Time to get it going. Lincecum with her second to the 17th. 164 as the rain starts to fall. Fairly heavy. Pretty coming off. Disappointing short miss at the previous hole. Looking to release something back there to this whole location. Looks like a good club selection from here. Yeah, really good from back here as well. Perfect line for Brittany Lincecum and a great chance for a birdie to get it back to level par for the day. Let's go over to the front nine to number three. This is the short par four and Lindsay Weaver who's got it to two under just three back as she plays her second nine of this second round. Wow. Great shot. It's one of the more birdie opportunities on the golf course. Players trying to take advantage of the short uh, length of that golf hole. Back to 17. And one of the great stories of the championship.